Ram Bouncer V2 is here. Now this chassis is built by Travis Vance at Addictive RC. It's way more aggressive. I said build it like a Rift. So yeah, it's way more aggressive. Let's get into some of the specs. V4 steering, this was actually brought to me by Andy Surrey. He brought it to me, kind of like a birthday present. So that's why it's got it on here. It also has the Vitavon knuckles to go with that as well. The wheels, brand new by Vitavon. Look at them shiny things, man. The chassis, you know, Addictive RC. Um, the first one, I wanted it more like a vehicle you could drive in, but I wanted this one just to be awesome. It's got Vitavon sway bars on it. The motor is a Hobbywing 5690, 1250 kV motor, max 5G2. Jen's Ace 8500 milliamp 4S batteries. Reese Beast 2000s in the front because I busted the stock ones out. Stock ones are still in the rear though, so we're good to go on that, right? At least for now. Now, the transmission, that is a Vitavon Mod 1.5 gear um, transmission with 10 millimeter outputs. So it is modified a little bit for the Raminator. With all that said, let's get this thing and let's go. Cause uh, it's mean. So guys, this thing is way more aggressive than the first one. I mean, it's lower, it's like I want. A little bit of drive shaft clearance issue on the motor. Still working on that, but man, I tell you what. This thing right here, man, just simply pitch it and go. This thing will eat a Raminator's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if the Raminator's lucky, it'll uh, give a little back to it. <laughs> Man, this thing is beautiful. We're testing something out right here. Like a jump onto the track. And then a jump out of the track. So... Yeah, we got that going for us. Dude, that was that was about eight foot up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, stay off my walls. Don't hit my walls, dude. Okay. It's, I think it's time for a couple slow-mo jumps. I told him to build this thing like he does a rift. And he did. <laughs> Man, this thing is bad to the bone. Let me show you guys what we're looking at doing here. Come across here. Come around through here. Oh, yeah. I was kind of trying for that. <laughs> Okay, and then you come back into the track right here. So, no kidding, I was kind of trying to hit that table. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it again. Oh! Uh, uh-huh. I think I'm okay. <laughs> when the local guys show up and they see these, I'll know if they haven't watched the videos, because if they do know, then, no, ooh, my battery moved. Uh, if they do know, then they'll know that how it happened. Okay, I've done this before with the old chassis. I think I can get it. Yep. <laughs> this thing. God, these things are awesome.
Might as well hit the track. Oh, that's a bumpy little launch right there, isn't it? We did run the track a little bit today. Oh my God, I almost messed something up. Probably almost busted my pipe. Just because of how much this thing is. Nice. Oh boy. What a beast. And there's no way I'm not hitting this. I got to. Oh my goodness, it's wet underneath there. Ew. Now just so you know, these bit of on wheels, they add, I forget what he said, about maybe 13 millimeters of width to each side. May not sound like a lot, but it actually does help keep things more stable. Also, there's one more thing I gotta do. And you guys know what it is. Because fat guys like donuts. <laughs> Yeah. Er my gird. Look at that. The whole radio can lay down in that. Man. I have to go crack up, crank up my tractor. This thing is crazy stable. The wheels add about 10 millimeters, I believe, on each side, which kind of makes a little bit of a difference. It still makes it through the doors, which is a good thing. Now, the oval track. Jumping in and jumping out of it, we're going to do that. That's going to happen. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to race. Maybe we'll do some short course or something. I don't know, but we're going to make that happen. But man, uh, this thing it is, it's lower, got a lower center of gravity. Uh, I, I, I really feel it's better in every way over the V1. I love the V1, but V2 <laughs> is where it's at. Guys, check that description. I'll link them up down below. Use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you're still watching, you are top chef. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships. If you guys wanna be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.